Blood of the Serpent. Enemies at the gate. I wanted to thank you. The woman that you met in those ruins. That was not me. She was ancient and wicked. And powerful. You almost killed me in that city. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All I have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking, purging itself of all traces of that... woman. She knew so much about these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. The bracelets. She made them, together with the giant kings. The bracelets were imbued with the power of seven artifacts. The Witch Queen's Mask. The Diadem of the Giant Kings. The Tears of Two Races. The Shining Trapezohedron. The Star of the Champion the heart of the sands, and the black ring of Set. The bracelets were created to translate any language for the wearer, to allow swift movement around the Empire, and to allow communication and recording through the lore stones. It was only later, when the war began, that the Queen suspected that the Giant Kings had included a death weave in the sorcery. Any who tried to flee their control were simply killed by the curse wall. Her people, the Lemurians, were the remnant of a desperate race. Her memories before the exiled lands are vague and confused. Flashes of an island kingdom, sinking as the world heaves. A people being subjugated with fire and sorcery. An escape and a long, treacherous journey into the West. I'm sorry, it's fading so quickly. I remember a daughter, Teleth, and a great betrayal, and a grandchild. She was a mother and a grandmother. She knew what it was to be a slave and didn't want that for any of her people. She would stop at nothing to prevent it from happening again. Can you blame her? Her mind shies away from two things. Her grandchild, and what her people found in the volcano. Her grandchild was... not truly human. Zoltar? He was a hostage, or something else. I'm sorry. For her, these memories were laden with emotion. I see a beloved daughter, and a hated foe, and a child that brings hope. It is so very unclear. As for what her people discovered at the volcano... Horror, anger, and disgust. And fear. This is the only memory where the Witch Queen of Lemuria felt fear. I truly don't know what I will do now that I have my freedom. Conan has offered to accompany me north, 
back to my home city in Shem. My palace awaits me, and the pampered life of a princess of Shem. But my enemies, the ones who sent me here, they also await me there. Perhaps instead, I will travel with Conan a while, see the world by his side. He is formidable, yes, for a barbarian. You 